Hi everyone, welcome back and welcome to my channel. My name's Lizzie and I'm here today because I made a new thing and I'm so happy with it. It is my latest make for the Simple Sew Blogger Network. So the blog post is already up, please go and click on the link in the description below. It'll take you to the Simple Sew website and you can see the blog post that I wrote for them. And yeah, I've made the Jackie O jacket. I'm wearing it right now. I'll put a picture here of the pattern so you can see what the pattern looks like. And it's essentially a super cute little cropped tailored sort of jacket. Um, it is very cropped in the bodice, it's also got cropped sleeves and it's just such a cute pattern. And I, it's really versatile because you could make this pattern in a really smart fabric like I've chosen to do to make more of like a corporate smart um, jacket. You can make it in faux fur. I know Gabby from Gabadashri has made one in faux fur, or you know, you could use you could just whatever different type of fabric you like, you can really transform this jacket. So I'm wearing it now, but I'll hold you in suspense for just a minute longer while I tell you about the fabric. So um us we at Simple Sew, the blogger team at Simple Sew are really, really lucky because we have now got some support from um, a few fabric shops and the wonderful people at Rainbow Fabrics so kindly actually gifted me this fabric in order to do this blog post for Simple Sew. So the fabric is, on, is from Rainbow Fabrics. They're based in Kilburn but they also have a website so you can order some of their stock online which is brilliant. And it's a dog's tooth black wool and it's 7.99 a meter and it's a polyester blend. I didn't have the information about the exact composition but yeah it's a polyester blend and as you can see it is like a black and grey slightly shimmery um, dog's tooth pattern and I just think I just love it. When I chose it on the website it um, obviously appealed to me but it wasn't until it actually arrived that I thought oh wow I absolutely love this fabric. I shall put some clips in here now to show me wearing the fabric, sorry not wearing the fabric, wearing the finished jacket so you can see what it looks like. I am so pleased with it, I think it's absolutely adorable and I made it to wear to work. Now I've been terrified of making things to wear to work because I work in quite a corporate environment and I need to dress very smartly, like all the men wear suits just and ties to give you a, a, an idea of what the dress code is like. And I was just worried to make anything tailored because I was worried about getting it to fit me. Because, um, you know, it's got to fit you right to make a really tailored garment. So I really wanted to make more little jackets, but I was too scared. But this pattern is such a good starter, I think. I think it was the perfect pattern to choose as an introduction to making little jackets, little smart jackets, because it's a very boxy shape. So actually, the fit is not much of an issue because... For example, it is quite big and boxy on me, but it's supposed to be. So I haven't had to spend ages trying to get it to fit perfectly because it, it's supposed to be a boxy shape. So there's just not as much of, a, of an issue with fitting. I did do some grading to the pattern because I have broad shoulders. So I measured my shoulders really carefully and compared it with the pattern pieces to work out which size I should be cutting on the shoulders. And I actually cut a size 16 for the shoulders and then I graded the rest of the jacket back down to the size 10 size and I'm really glad I did that because it's ended up being, a, being a, a very good fit. It fits my shoulders snugly but it's not tight and I've got like movement in the way I should do. It does feel a little bit wide around the bodice I think just because I'm not used to wearing things that are boxy um, so I think if I made it again I might just slim it down a little bit at the side seams just to bring it in just a touch, um, but it is supposed to be boxy, so I'm totally happy with it. I also was a bit stupid and just didn't really pay much attention to the line drawings, evidently, because it has got very cropped sleeves, like as you can tell, my little blouse pokes out the bottom, um, and I'm always cold, so I think when I make another one, and I do want to make another one because I really like this pattern, I think I'll extend the sleeves to make them full length, just for temperature and comfort reasons. The construction of this pattern is so simple. You know when people make on their blogs or YouTube channels say, oh I whipped it up in no time at all and I'm always like, oh I've never whipped anything up in no time at all. This felt like a whipper upper in no time at all kind of piece. Like honestly, I thought it was going to take me, I thought it was going to be quite difficult because it's a jacket but it's so simple. The construction couldn't be more simple and the instructions tell you how to face it. So on the inside, let me try and show you. 
it's faced as opposed to lined. So you could work out how to line it if you'd prefer to line it. I think I'd do that next time. The instructions are just to show you how to add a facing, which is just great for beginners because it's really simple. This fabric is um, very prone to fraying, so I did have to zigzag all of my edges very thoroughly to make sure I'm not like molting bits of fabric everywhere. Um, but yeah, I think I've done a sufficient job to prevent that. The pattern calls for 1.7 meters of fabric. So that's what I requested um, from Rainbow Fabrics via Simple Sew Blog Network. So that's how much I think they sent me. I didn't actually measure it to check. They might have sent a little extra, but um, yeah, it was so too much, honestly. I had, I've got so much left over, enough to make ah, a little skirt. Oh my gosh, I am so excited to make a matching skirt. I'm gonna use the Tilly in the Buttons Delphine skirt pattern because I already own it, um, but I am going to shorten it so it's not a mini length because I need to wear it to work and I can't wear mini skirts to work, but um, yeah, shorten it a little bit and slim it down at the sides to make it more of a straight sort of A-line shape. But I'm gonna have me a matching little A-line skirt, high-waisted A-line skirt to go with my little cropped Jackie O jacket. It's gonna be so clueless, like so, I'm just, I'm gonna be Cher from Clueless, or whatever her name is. I mean, not obviously black dog's tooth as opposed to like yellow tartan or whatever, but I'm so excited. I'm so excited. It's just, what a great outfit to wear to work. And if people give me compliments, I'll be able to say, oh, I made it myself. Oh, I'm just so excited. It's gonna be great. Overall, this was a very successful make. I'm so pleased with it. I can't wait to start wearing something handmade to work. And yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know if you've ever made the Jackie O jacket. Um, I'm also really interested to know if any of you have you if the if any of you any of you have made the sew over it Coco jacket, I think it is, because sew over it do a little round necked crop jacket very similar to this. I'd just be intrigued to know if any of you have made it and what you thought because I'm thinking of making one of those with another piece of fabric that I have for another little jacket. But if not, I'll just use this pattern again because it's great. Thanks ever so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more. And details on my blog and my Instagram are down below. So do go and follow me on Instagram if you'd like to see more of my handmade things. And I'll see you next time. Bye!